Do you want to start traveling the world? If so, how do you get started? Hey, Jason here, and I've been, if you've been following the videos, you know I've been talking about success. And this is a part of success too. Like, do you want to travel the world or do you want to just continue living in a, man, this wind is crazy today. Or do you want to just continue living in the country that you're in? Now, most people, the truth is, most people do want to just stay in one country. However, there are a few of us out there that want to keep living, that want to live abroad or want to experience different cultures. And so this is who this video is for because it's not as there's not it's not information out there to make it as easy as uh, people would really uh, that people really don't believe people don't understand how easy it really is to live across the world. Um, <clears throat> the world isn't as big as it is anymore, and there's not as many things holding us back from being able to travel across the world except usually our thinking and lack of action. And so that's why I wanted to talk about this today because. Because <laughs> a lot of people always ask me, like, oh, I want to travel the world. I would love to go to America. I would love to do this. And then they end it with, but I can't. And the truth is, anyone can travel anywhere in the world, uh, minus if certain countries are not communicating or you have a passport that's considered a bad passport. Now, if that's the circumstances, that's not who this video is for. I'm talking to people in, you know, just typical regular countries, no issues, no wars, no crazy stuff. Um, you know, like Colombia, parts of South America, parts of Central America, people here in uh, the continent of Africa, South Africa, and other countries like, you know, European countries, or even people in Asian countries also. And so one of the things I always get asked first when people realize that I'm from America, they ask, what do you do? <laughs> what type of work do you do? Or um, did your work bring you here? And uh, it's kind of funny to me because not everybody in this world work for money. And really hear me on, on this. Working for money is just a contract where you're exchanging your time for a certain amount of money. That's all that is. It doesn't guarantee you the ability to travel the world or do other things. In fact, there's a lot of people in America who make way more money than me who don't even think about traveling the world because they don't want to. And they, one of the things is they don't even realize the opportunities that are, um, man, this window. Okay, it's just going to be a little dark on this video. They don't even realize the opportunities that they have uh, available to them if they left the United States. And so you don't even need a lot of money to leave the United States. And so without even getting into the money thing, I know there's going to be a lot of objections from people. Like, what do you really need to start doing? And so you got to start changing your attitude on where you are able to live. And remember, our attitude is the com combination of our thoughts, feelings, and actions, which leads to our goals. And remember I told you like most people, they always tell me how they want to go to is just a dream to go to America. Then they end it with a but and explain why they can't. That's their thoughts and feelings saying that they can't do it. So they're not taking the right actions to be able to go to America or any other country they will want to. And so one of the first things you want to start doing if you think you want to be a person that travel and live abroad, where do you want to go? I know it may look like a, uh, you know, like how if you've been following when me and uh, Chantel was uh, going from Colum uh, Panama, then going to Colombia, they look like we may just get up on a whim and we just go and, uh, wherever we want. We actually did a lot of things and a lot of things just we kept doing and that's what made it easier for us to do. The first thing I started doing was figuring out where do I want to go? <laughs> Even with South Africa, when I knew I was going to come here, I started looking where do I want to go? I wanted to go to a big city, a very diverse city. Um, I wanted to go to a place to where I could be centrally located in the CBD or downtown area. And that's exactly what I got here. And the way I did that, I started watching YouTube videos of South Africa. Um, I was watching different people who were just driving around just to see the different areas. And I started imagining myself walking on those streets, uh, going around talking to people, seeing people, going into different, um, different venues, different marketplaces. Like, that's how it started out and everything that we started doing. It started with, one, we started looking at it, started researching it, and then we started imagining ourselves doing, what are we going to do there? And this is how everything starts out. Like, you have to start researching and imagining yourself doing it. Just saying you want to do something is not enough because it's not going to get you into the action that you need to get in. There's a lot of difference when you know you have to get there. For me, I knew I was going to be in South Africa. I knew I was going to be in Johannesburg. And I knew I was going to be in the CBD downtown area. 
And that's exactly where I am. And it was because I was able to take the actions to get there. And most people would be like, wow, you're an American. How did you know where to go in CBD? I did my research. Like, I didn't just jump down off, off the plane and just start walking and looking for a hotel. Like, people, not many people do that in the world. Like, and I don't recommend doing that. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Uh, you need to do research and realize what are the areas that accommodate you. And then you need to, um, and that's the second thing, like you need to know what are the accommodations that you need to have? What are your must needs to be able to live outside of your home country? Um, like I tell people, um, there's a big difference if you leave the United States going to Central or South America. There's some things you give up on, like in Central America, we didn't have hot water. <laughs> it was just, you know, it's so hot there, you don't need hot water. People use cold water. And that's, take, that's an adjustment to get to, especially if you're used to American amenities. And so you, that's the second thing you want to do. The third thing you want to do is start trying to find a contact there, meaning talk to people who are in the country, like start making friends there because it start building a connection to you with that, with you in that place. And one of the best ways to do this is doing language ex exchanges online. Like this is the beauty about the internet. I know you get a lot of, uh, a lot of people demonize it and talk bad about the internet. Oh, it's just fake news and this and that. There's a lot of great stuff about the internet. We have to use it for our advantage and stop letting people just tell us what to use it for. And one of those things is you can find language exchanges all over the world, uh, meeting people from everywhere. Because everybody wants to learn English, everybody wants to learn Spanish, Italian, French, uh, Portuguese, the different uh, di tribal dialects here. Like everybody wants to learn these things and get more familiar with it because we're all interested in learning about how do other people live in life. And so that's a, another great way to get yourself connected, especially if you're from another country and you're trying to get to America. It's very easy to find an American on these language exchanges because most likely they're trying to come to your country too because they want to experience it and uh, get new opportunities. And so that's three ways that you can actually start becoming successful in as far as uh, traveling abroad. And now, these three ways I use all the time. I do language exchanges sometime. Um, now I prefer to do them more in person than online, but that's me. And remember, I'm more of a seasoned traveler now. I've been doing this for the past eight years. And so if you're starting out, don't go straight to a country and then <laughs> try to learn the language. Uh, start getting on a, a language exchange or a Duolingo and start learning some of the language yourself so you'll get comfortable. Uh, so that's just to let you know, don't do everything that you see some people on video doing because when people, once you get more experience, you'll be able to move around easier. And like I tell people, because I've been to so many different countries and different parts of the world uh, between traveling this past eight years plus in the military, you start recognizing areas are the same. You, you know what areas to go to, you know the things that vibrate with you. Um, just by knowing whatever grocery stores and certain things around the area, that's how I know areas that are good for me. And so it could be different for you. Like I can tell you, like a lot of people don't like CBD. It works for me. Uh, it gives me all the accommodations I, I need and I'm centrally located to where I can just Uber wherever I want to go. However, some other people don't prefer this. They prefer other type of living. So that's another thing like just, and that's just a freebie out here. Um, don't judge other people's type of living on what you want or what you feel like you have. Some people live more expensive. Some people live cheaper and don't feel, be afraid to just figure out what you want. And so, no, I got a little off on a little tangent on that last part, last part there, but hope you got some value from this. Hit the like button if you like this content. And if you know someone that's trying to live abroad and they wanna start talking to other people who live abroad and stuff, just share this video with them so they can see like, hey, here's an American that's been traveling the world for the past eight years. And just shows you, you can travel the world too also. Have a great day, see you tomorrow.